Wow, it's been a long day. Uh, superb. Thank you, everybody, for having the patience. Nine hours we have been here online today, almost 10. Uh, it's been a great day, day one of espousal, and we are all very proud and absolutely fantastic. We have with us Sanjeev Kapoor, who's my buddy, my brother. We set up the Karnataka Event Management Association together, uh, something that is now still a baby, three years old, going strong. Sanjeev, over to you. Tell us what did you think of the last nine, ten hours of day one? Can't hear you, Sanjeev. You're on mute. Yeah, now I'm muted. First of all, thank you, Arvind ji. Um, thank you, Esposal team, to put me over here. So I have heard uh, Abhilash and uh, Aran Mali from uh, the last session. And it's a very inspiring session I have here, how to work and their life, they get balanced. So uh, with the closing, I don't want to bore the audience over there if they are listening to me, that um, I'd like to thank on behalf of organizers, Zero Aim, Sposals, Vistales, and partner who are behind the curtain also. And uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's my pleasure to make a uh, closing remark for disposal uh, this virtual event. Uh, to introduce myself, I am Sanjeev Kapoor from Scorpio Event Bangalore. And by the way, I'm easily searchable and accessible on Google by searching type Sanjeev Kapoor from Scorpio Event and always available to help and support event industry and event managers, not in India, entire world. Anybody can reach out to me anytime. To, to start, I believe in, and I think every event managers believe in nothing is impossible. No one can hold us back. I always believe in positivity and success. Arvind is very well aware of that. So why I'm saying that? Because in the COVID time, lots of people has, lots of entrepreneur, I can say, has gone in a uh, depression mode and they have shut down their companies. They are not able to make it up after the COVID has uh, going out from our life. So for, for the, that reason, I am just remembering one small story. Uh, maybe all of you must have heard about that. But then the gentleman was walking an elephant camp. They have a good elephant camp near Bangalore also. So there is a one gentleman was walking through an elephant camp and he spotted that the elephant were not kept in cages or held by using of chains. All that was holding them back for escaping the camp was a small piece of rope tied one of their leg. As the man gazed upon the elephant, he was completely confused as to why the elephant didn't just use their strength to break the rope and escape the camp. They could easily have done so, but instead they didn't try at all. Curiously, he wanted to know the answer. He was very curious. He asked the trainer who was standing nearby why the elephant were just standing there and never tried to escape. The trainer replied, Sir, when they were young and much smaller, we used the same size of rope to tie them. And at that age, it is enough to hold them. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them. So they never try to break free. The only reason that the elephant were not breaking free and escaping from the camp was that over time they adopted it, believe that it was just not possible. So friends, COVID cannot hold us back. We cannot say we have to bounce back. We have to believe it is, we have to bounce forward. The moral of the story, why, what, what I uh, told you right now, is no matter how much the world tries to hold you back, no matter COVID or whatever reason is trying to hold you back, always continue with the belief that what you want to achieve is possible. Believing you can become successful is the most important step in actually achieving it. I'm not here to give you all the gyan, but I believe none of us is as smart 
as all of us. I believe in this causal platform. Today we have achieved an important milestone. Today we are no longer alone. The few point I would like to highlight that alone we can do so little, but believe together we can do so much. Arvind and me is a good example for that. Tema is uh, Karnataka Event Management Association. When we uh, it found maybe yes, but uh, it's conceptualized. If I'm not wrong, Arvind ji, correct me if I'm wrong. It's five or six years back. They're pushing each other. Why not we make one association? Why not we make a other event management company? Why don't we call them for a single platform? But the scenario and the, the platform and the the mentality of breaking the event company owners is very difficult. Those times, we we me and Arvind has faced those difficulties. We have faced those challenges. So the point over is collaboration, which is I always like to remind it very often in my speak, whenever I have a speaker in KM or other, that without collaboration, we cannot grow. The collaboration between the local, domestic and international event manager community can achieve a common goal. Like disposal is a good example for that. And, uh, and quickly, I would like to highlight one more uh, uh, point over here that developing a new IP is also a future of even India has a lots of opportunity to create experiential IPs for the world to get experience in event management in event little bit about Kema Kema uh, uh, two days before we have done 100 plus members and we proudly to have a uh, uh, members uh, 100 plus members with us with which we are growing family day by day and would like to invite other part of the world event management companies and owners to become a part of KEMA so that we can grow horizontally and vertically both way. As we had a very fruitful discussion here in exposal platform, I would like to close this day with an appeal to the world event management companies and association who all are listening to us to consider discussing collaboration in one of future coming meetings. Thank you so much. And I would like to thank Samit Gargji, who was the opening speaker, Roshan Abbasji, Arvind Ji, Sposal team, again, who was behind the curtain, to and, and each one of you to pave the way of making Sposal day one even successful. Don't forget that I am easily available and searchable on Google by Sanjeev Kapoor from Scorpio event. Till then. I will miss you until we'll meet again. I'll invite wow. all of you to come and meet it, uh, come in Bangalore and let's we meet up again. Thank wow. you very much. I love you. Wow, 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 wow. Sanjeev Kapoor at his very best. But I'll tell you, a meeting with Sanjeev is not complete till he gives us one of his classic shares in Hindi. <laughs> Anji? Sir, uh, people will not understand uh, physically over here. Ki for it, man? Apollo. Okay, as requested by Arvind Jo Sabani Ji. Abhi aapko, what should I say with the international community? Can I was not prepared for that? Ah, koi baat nahi hai. So, so, Hindi mein. So I don't remember right now. <laughs> Mujhe so, abhi... That was Sanjeev Kapoor for you. Uh, I want to give my original, so I'm not able to make original right now. No worry, no worry. Next time. But uh, Sanjeev Kapoor is a very close confidant, and uh, we've done a lot of things together. And uh, it is with the support of Sanjeev and friends like this, like the people that you have seen, that espousal has grown. I hope you people have enjoyed day one. Do not forget, day two starts at 12 noon IST, our India time. Looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Thank you so much and bye-bye.